Our first guest is an actor, producer, singer, magician, and father. He's in the new movie, The Matrix Resurrections. Please welcome the very talented Neil Patrick Harris. What's up? What's up? My God, it's so good to see you, man. You too. Welcome back. Now, you've been on the show many times, but I think uh, uh, my first time meeting you or being uh, around you was actually uh, when you guest judged on So You Think You Can Dance. You remember That's that? That's right. I'm a huge So You Think You Can Dance fan. Absolutely. I guess yeah. judge. What was that, season 11? It was like season maybe eight. Oh, was it earlier like that. than that? Yeah, it was a while ago. And I had no reason to be there. <laughs> I've never taken a dance class in my life. <laughs> But I've danced in uh, like you know shows and absolutely. stuff before, so it was fun. You were uh, you were there. You were one Thank of the much, absolutely you were one, one of the, the all pros, stars. Yeah, all stars, of course. You were and amazing. obviously, it's just I mean, and no, you definitely needed to be there. You, you're a man of many talents. My family loved you on a series of unfortunate events. Oh, all of those characters <laughs> you got to play, man. That was fun. You know yeah. <laughs> that had to, that had to be fun, man. But, it was fun. It's re it, rarely in your life do you get to play such extreme versions of people. Right. And I played all these different, Count Olaf had all these disguises, and so it was very schizophrenic. And I, from week after week, would be Stefan, the one, the episode, and then I'd be Shirley in another. And then I'd be Count Olaf in another. I was just kind of yeah. bouncing from voice. That was Captain Sham! <laughs> you talk like this, you're sort of like Sean Connery losing his dentures. Awesome. All right, obviously tomorrow is Christmas Eve. I know, um, happy, and happy. You, got, you have twins, so yeah. you must be excited. How old are your twins now? They just turned 11 in October. Okay. Gideon and Harper. Wow, yeah. Wow, oh, look at those two. Now, last year, Santa Eric brought them a puppy. In that I know, good looking. <laughs> Uh, Santa brought them a puppy last year, right? Yeah. Um, so yeah. how is, uh, how is yeah. Mr. Santa going to uh, top that this year? Yeah, Christmas morning. Santa brings a golden retriever. Mm. And I got a problem with that. Yeah. Because golden retrievers are really cute and chew everything. Yes. Yeah. Santa should be ashamed of himself. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know, Ella is that dog and she is probably 10 times that size now. Right. And she's, yeah. Wow. There she is. Wow. And she is this, the simplest brained dog. <laughs> She'll do things wrong, you know? She'll yeah. chew on the side of the house. And then, uh, and then you say, Ella, Ella, you cannot chew in the side of the house. She just waggles her ass and she's like, <laughs> that is so cute. Say it again, like, say it again, me. Papa. Talk to me. Yeah. I love her. So I don't know, this year, I hope Santa doesn't. Now the kids want a hedgehog. They want a hedgehog, like what? a real hedgehog. An actual hedgehog, because they see the videos on TikTok of hedgehogs <laughs> being so cute. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And so I'm not, Santa's not about to get them a hedgehog. Yeah. Maybe a tarantula, that'd be cool. You'd be down for a tarantula? Yeah. Okay, okay. You wouldn't? No, that's a hard no for both of those for me. Like, that's a, I'm all right. Here's like, the thing what I like about tarantulas is because they're, they don't bite. They're actually very sweet, right? They look scary. And I think if you just see a tarantula for the first time or a, at a zoo or something and they hand it to you, it's terrifying. But once right. I think you, if you owned one, you would realize that they're cute, just misunderstood. Okay. Mm, cute little trench the hole. Okay, I can feel that. Maybe, now, uh, even it, like, I, but, I, but the thing is, uh, you, I feel like you kind of have an understanding of things that could be scary. Your family goes all out for Halloween. Like, oh, all out, all out. You I guys saw do a picture. Same. Absolutely. We, I mean, we love it. Look at that. Oh. So, was, that this, was that this year? Yeah, that was this year's Halloween picture. We wanted to go scary this year, because last year we did some like, artistic stuff. And so we thought, Let's do some like scary villains, and Gideon seemed perfect for Chucky. Yeah, wow. So That's did amazing. he not like wearing the wig? Can I tell you that <laughs> was that was a I gave him extra allowance on that day. Wow. Harper loves <laughs> loves the horror movies, so she's very excited. She was terrified to watch The Exorcist and didn't watch it. Just watched a couple scenes from it. Just so she, she can be in character. Wanting to watch it. Yeah. She's 11, y'all. Yeah. Girl cannot watch it. Exactly. It's so scary. It's like, are you trying to solidify your terror of clowns, basically? But right? she wanted to watch it so much, we let her watch it. Oh, and, she did. Yeah, and because she was actually getting scared of it because we wouldn't let her watch it. Mm -hmm. So in her mind, I think it was becoming a <laughs> bit larger than it was. Got it. And she Got finished it. and said, that wasn't so scary. There you go. See, and also, you know what I love too? I love uh, like everything that y'all are doing as a family. I know you've been doing a lot of traveling lately. Yeah. Um, saw something. Uh, uh, well, y'all jumping off some boats a little while ago. Where where was <laughs> this? This is your life section. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look at this. We were in Croatia. Our great friend Diana Jenkins 
uh, vacations there and she invited us to come and play and the Adriatic Sea is so, boom. Is that you doing a backflip off the- Boom! Bus? Let's go. Bucket list backflip. Ooh, there's my wow. husband, I David. love that. Yo, we can clap it. That's good for yeah. him right there. That was good. I want to do a backflip off the- Listen, Twitch. Yeah. I really legitimately feel like at the end of the day, life is a bucket list of things. Mm -hmm. the, the more we can experience, the more we can actually go to new places mm -hmm. and meet new people and hear do new ideas and try things that might frighten us, mm -hmm. then we're gonna remember those things more than Absolutely. just passively observing and passing judgment. Absolutely. So going and jumping off boats, I highly recommend it. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, we have more with Neil after this. We'll be right back. Please tell everybody about your, new, your newsletter. You have a newsletter. Oh, Wonder thank Cade. you. Yeah. Wondercade, y'all. It's a newsletter that I'm doing. You can sign up at wondercade.com. Very simple. It's not like aligned with anything, no agenda. I just have traveled around and done a lot of random mm -hmm. things. And it's a weekly newsletter about cool things that I recommend from how to mix a cocktail to uh, family ideas to cool places to eat mm -hmm. to cool VR headset games to immersive theater. Uh, next week's is, is uh, we just had, actually, a Matrix-themed issue. It was wow. all cool, specific Matrix-exclusive uh, stuff, and it's really fun. So it's oh. my non-acty thing. So I Love encourage it. everyone to sign up. So wondercade.com. Wondercade.com. Check it out. You know? Awesome. All right, listen. It's a thing. We got, we're going to take a break, but when we come back, we're going to play a game with Neil. The Matrix Resurrections is in theaters and on HBO Max. But we'll see, right it back see it in theaters. See it in theaters. Big screen. See you in theaters. We'll be right back after this. We are back with the Sorry. very, very talented Neil Patrick Harris. Now, Neil, you are a multi-talented actor, sort of jack of all trades. So we figured you'd be good at spotting talent in our audience. So we're going to play our game Dance, Sing, or Neither Thing. Oh. Dance, Sing, or Neither Thing. All right. So we're gonna have someone from the audience come down and Neil and I are going to guess whether they can dance, sing, or do neither thing. Oh, that's what the title means, uh -huh. got it. Uh -huh. So we can ask them some questions before they start, before they show off their talent, all right? Okay. All great. right, let's bring out the first person, let's we get We get to ask them questions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. What's your name and where are you from? Hi, my name is Tatiana, I'm from Russia. Okay. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Now, can you dance or sing? I can dance. Okay. <laughs> what what style of dance? Break dance. How how long? Twelve years. Twelve years. Yeah. Mm. You've been a break dancer <laughs> for twelve years. Yeah. What's your, what's your name? What's your, like, I know you said your, but what's like your, okay. your name, Good your question. dance name? Good question. Big old Tanya. Huh? Big old Tanya. Big old Tanya. Big old Tanya. Ooh. <laughs> And she came with, and the thing is, she came with B-Girl. That's how, that's how I was That's like, pretty good. You know what I mean? I was gonna say no until she said me that. Me too, me too. <laughs> I'm a, the fact that she said B-Girl, I think that, I think it's legit. Uh, oh. I'm gonna say you can dance. I'm gonna say you can dance. Yeah? Yeah. So, you think you can dance? Ah. Uh, I'll say the same thing. Okay, let's see what you can do. Let's go. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Well okay, done. all right, yeah, okay. That was legit. That was impressive. Go. That was awesome. All right, let's bring down our next person. Well, boy. All right, hello, hello. sir. Uh, what is your name and where are you from? Uh, I'm Kelly Brighton, and I am from El Segundo, California. El Segundo, California, okay. Nice. So. I don't believe him. <laughs> Can you dance or sing? I sing. You sing. Um, what kind of sing? I mean, you, is it like a specific style? Or you, what, what kind of singer? Um, all, all styles, really. Uh, pop, some soul. I like some opera. Okay. 
How long have you been singing? Long time. Have you really? <laughs> okay. Now, see, I think I can. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I think I know. You know? Okay. All right. Here we go. We're gonna put up. Put it up on three. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, how about a little Christmas stuff? Okay. Yeah. Let's see what you can do. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Don't be now our gay apparel. Fa la 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 la. While I tell of you tight treasures. Fa la 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 la. La 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 la. Thank you very much, man. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Great. Absolutely. I mean, we were right, obviously. All right. He answered very quickly on that last question when he said yes. Yeah. And I felt like if he'd have been faking it, he wouldn't have. He, he wouldn't have been that sure. Absolutely. That was good. Okay. What's up, man? Oh. Hi. All right. What's your name? Where are you from? Uh, my name is Stan, and I'm from Russia, actually, too. Okay. Do you sing or dance? Um, I can dance. Oh, a coy, a coquettish. <laughs> I know. I can dance. Okay. Mm. What style? What style of dance? Depends. <laughs> Depends. Wow. Okay. Okay. So he's either completely lying, right? Because he hasn't. He's really kind of not answered any anything question. at all, actually. Or he's so good and specific that he's just <laughs> smoke screening us yeah, with no answers. And he could be good at everything. Do you mostly dance here or in Russia? Um, in both countries. See, again. <laughs> again with the non-answers. Yeah. yeah. I'm ready to vote. You ready to vote? Okay, here we go. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> All right, let's see what you can do. <laughs> Thank you very much. Wow. Thank you. Well you done. Stand corrected. Thank three you very much. Three. Absolutely. Wow. Okay. Maybe we need to fix our radar just a little no bit more. Yeah, absolutely. I thought for sure one would not be talented. You guys are amazing. <laughs> Y'all give it up one more time for the talented Neil Patrick Harris.